Have friends. Okay. Um, mm, I don't really have some sort of a... Like a... There's not like a... Okay. <laughs> Basically what I'm going to teach you today on Sony Vegas Pro is my favorite effect that I use pretty much all the time, which is the S blur more curve, blur, that one, that I use a lot for different effects. And I'm basically going to teach you everything with S blur more curves and also S shake. Where is it? So that. Okay, so those are my two main effects that I use. So I'm going to just show you pretty much everything. Uh, let me start off by telling you that you need the Saphir plugin and by repeating myself on saying that I do not know how to get it. Just do what I did the first time, Google or on YouTube how to get Saphir plugin, uh, whatever, like uh, download and then check in the comments. If a lot of the comments say, oh my god, you gave me a virus, don't use it. And if it says, oh, thank you, then you gotta take a chance. Since I already downloaded it, I can't check for anything for you guys because I already have it, so I'm not gonna know if it works or not. Sorry, let's move on. Okay, so choosing your clips, you're gonna do that uh, in honor of the very recent release of um, Suicide Squad. I decided to use the trailer. And by the way, for those people wondering how people on Vine make edits of Suicide Squad, we use trailers, all right? That's what we use. So don't message those people because I know I have a person that I follow asking like how'd you get the link and whatever and literally you just download the trailer and you got it. That's what you do. Okay, so I'm going to use my two favorite characters from the movie which is Diablo and uh, this bitch, I forgot her name, and Amanda, the main bitch. <laughs> Alright, so I really like those two characters. Uh, no, I'm, I'm going to try to keep spoilers out of this so I'm just going to get to it. Alright. So, um, I showed you guys how to make zoom in, zoom out. Um, I show you how to make the rotation. So those are two effects that I use with blur more curves. I'm also going to teach you how to zoom in into a corner since a lot of people seem to not know how to do that. So I'm going to show you that. I actually use this in an edit that if I find it, I'm going to put it right here. So as you can see in that edit, I zoomed in in like the corner. So I'm gonna teach you how to do that. All right, so let's say we cut these in half so we can put like a that. So we actually have like four different clips that we can use it on. All right, so you're gonna put the S blur more curve and then you're gonna go at the end, obviously. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven frames before the end, you're gonna push the just normal kind of the normal frames, which is like one and zero, zero everywhere. So then you're gonna go one frame before the end. I'm gonna put it one frame before the end so you guys can see what it looks like. So basically, to zoom in into the corner, you're gonna make it like uh, zoom in 0 0.5. So that's gonna zoom in in the middle. Since you guys wanted to put it like on the side, either on the left or the right, you're gonna go on the shift X, which is gonna make it um, go on a different position of the X line. All right, so you guys are ready? Okay, you put the zero at the seven frames before, and then you go back to that, Then you're gonna play with it. If you want it to go to the right, you just play with that. So, oh, going to the right, that would be minus. I just put it minus two five. So following this logic, if you guys wanted to go on the opposite side, you just go plus 250 or how much you want. But since we wanted to zoom in into the right, did I say left before? I'm sorry, I'm an idiot. All right, there you go. Make sure to put reflect just in case if there's a black space, that's what you get. All right, uh, seven frames before, you're gonna put it on slow, then you're gonna put it on fast, then push it to the end. All right, some people might have like this weird kind of tick. So make sure to, like I'm gonna explain it to you. Make sure that like while you zoom out, see how it kind of like, shh, it kind of like moves but doesn't zoom in. That means like that your point is not at the right point. So just move it around and then bam, smooth as a baby's butt. All right, so you're gonna, wait, let's pre-render this stuff. All right, so then following that logic, what I'm, um, I would be like uh, proposing to use that since if you don't know exactly what you need like the numbers just go on the, the thing you did before and just since it's here It's 
0.5, then the opposite would be 1.5, and then minus 250, it would be plus 250. So that's how you follow your thing. All right, so on X, you go 250, and then here you go 1.5. All right, you're gonna click on the clock, click on the clock, then click on reflect, oops, reflect, and then since we had to move the points one before, we're gonna go on eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Actually go on seven, and then we're gonna fool this stuff. So zero, and then one. All right, so here you can kind of see that it shakes. Do that, and then bam, it's gonna be smooth. All right, just put it on eight and make sure that you know everything works fine. All right, as you see, I've done it. Save, pre-render this shit. To pre-render your stuff, like let's say you put coloring, or whatever and you want to know what it looks like but you don't want it to crash just shift b on the looping region it's gonna work okay let's see what it looks like all right see you zoomed in into the corner all right now i'm going to show you something different which is still zooming into a corner but like a literal corner like let's say the bottom right let's say bottom left since we've been going on there okay so let's see one two three four five six seven all right, so we're gonna put this here. Now you're gonna click on the shift Y as well, just so you know. Um, okay, so here we still want it to be at one. So make a point to one and here you want it at zero. All right, so we got the normal kind of stuff. Then you're gonna go at the end, I'm gonna go one frame before, and you want it to zoom in on the left bottom corner. You're gonna go 0 0.5, then you want it to go on the left. Yes, so that's a positive 2.5, and then on the bottom would be 2.5. All right, so like that, slow, 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 and then fast, fast, fast. Let's see if there's like this weird glitch. As usual, there is, so you can move it. All right, you're gonna do the same. So since it was plus plus on the other thing, you're gonna do the opposite. Isn't this awesome? So like that, like that. So since we know what that was, okay, uh, seven. You're gonna go 0.5. You're gonna go minus 2.5 and then minus 2.5. And then reflect and then reflect fast you get the drill all right and then you check if there's the glitch oh there's not the glitch awesome all right i'm going to show you what it looks like like it zooms in into the corner if you want there there are ways that to make it smoother and the ways that i'm going to show you it's actually with pan crop so let's say you want this to zoom in into like the right corner I suggest you to make it bounce. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna put the normal frame in the middle, make it slow, and then the first one, let's say like we zoom in here, and then fast, and then, okay. And then since it zooms in into the right, just zoom it in into the right, and then fast. That's gonna make it much smoother. All right, let's see what it looks like. See what I mean? And then here, we're gonna pretty much do the same. So that zooms in, so I let it like that. And then in the middle frame, or around the middle frame, since I don't know if there's a middle on that. All right, just zoom in into her a little, make it slow. And then since it, it zooms in into the bottom left corner, zoom it in into the bottom left corner. So you, I don't know if you get like what I mean, but it's gonna help it go so much smoother. Let's see. see what I mean? Because before it was just like robotic, kind of uh, uh, as here it just smooths it. Okay, so now that we got that, um, I'm gonna show you, what else can I show you with that that I do? Oh, uh, for those people that don't, that have uh, that, but not, um, example like the new blue effect like i have new blue but i don't have that effect that people use you know when there's like four images i don't know if you know what i'm talking okay i'm going to show you so basically if you have saphir just drag it onto your clip i zoom it out of two 
and then x y and x uh, x and y make it 0.5 both of them and then uh, make it tile so you know what I mean like there's people that have this kind of effect on like vine I don't know how they do it I think it's actually with new blue but since I don't know that <laughs> uh, I use that basically so that's what I do all right um now to show you as shake so what I do with that shake is that I either make it shake during the scene so let's say during the scene I'm going to show you what it's like and then I'm going to show you the actual like properties that you have to make all right let's see what it looks like Like, I don't know if you see, but there's like kind of the shaking. I really like adding that into my edits because it adds like a bit more movement. So basically, um, the properties, like uh, the actual shit that you got to do, that's what I put in. Um, the uh, amplitude, I always leave it at 0.9. Frequency, I change it if I want to make it like harsher. Just put it at 2. If you want to make it smoother, put it at like 1. But that's usually what I use. So at amplitude 0.9, frequency 1.5, blah blah blah. Everything is pretty much the same. So that's what I do for like the shaking kind of effect. And then let's say I want the beginning of my clip to like kind of give it like a hit and then continue. I don't know. Okay, let me show you. All right. So let's see. See what I mean? Like it shakes in the beginning and then it stops at the end. Like. I don't mind, it doesn't look really nice because I don't use that a lot, but it kind of resembles. So if you want to make it sharp, uh, put more frequency and a bit less amplitude. So that's what's going to give it like the harshness because amplitude is going to make it move and frequency is going to make it rough or whatever. So just do that, I guess. Um, save your preset in case you guys don't want to do it all the time. So just like go here, click whatever you want, and then click uh, save preset, and you got it. Um, yeah, so basically now you know the effects that I use. Um, if I can give you an advice on something else, if you guys want to have, you know, like the black borders, or to delete black borders, just go on pen crop, and let's say like it's much bigger or whatever, just right click much um output aspect it's gonna shrink it or just zoom it in um but if you want the black borders but you have like let's say an effect let's say like that imagine if i want to put the borders into that it's gonna look like that you know what i mean so to take that away go in media generator solid color put black and then you got it all right, click pan crop, and then go into the masking thing, take the square and just do that, make it negative, and you got it. So at least now it's not gonna be like shitty and shit. So yeah, there you go, guys. I didn't teach you much today, but those like are two effects that I use a lot. Um, to get the sphere, just look into it on YouTube, you're pretty much gonna find it. But those are effects that I, like on my vine is pretty much <laughs> the only thing I use and it looks really nice in my opinion. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I didn't have much uh, editing tutorial in mind, but this is one. <laughs> I hope you liked it and if you have any suggestion, leave it in the comments. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching and being here means a lot. Right, bye. <laughs>